You know what? We have an open, open concept no, you can studio. Come, you can come, come in. Come on in. <laughs> Gordon Hayward, how are you doing? How are you doing? From Seripipat. We're going to hand you a microphone so we can hear you. I'm Jamie. We have a very open concept. It's like the open kitchen. Yeah. Anybody like can come that. in, anybody can leave. If you want some food, we have, yes. we've already started eating it, so you probably don't want that one. We have a salad for you from Wicked right. Wrap, if you'd yeah. like that. You get the boring salad. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're chowing down on the sandwiches. Uh, but you're taking in some tennis today, yes. and I, I know you're a tennis fan. You, you also played tennis in high I did. school. Yes. Um, where, where does your love for tennis, uh, when did it start? Uh, when I was really little. Um, I was probably better at tennis in high school than I was basketball. Really? Uh, my, my parents put me in a camp, like a, it was like a summer daycare type thing. And so we would play, my, I have a twin sister uh, who actually played in college, but we would play like all summer, um, almost like, like I said, like a daycare thing. And so um, I loved tennis, uh, loved basketball a little bit more. Um, and glad that I went that route, but uh, still, you know, a tennis fan. I mean, you were so good that you thought that you were gonna play in Butler, correct? I had the opportunity to play, but at that point in time, I'd kind of done both sports for so long that I wanted to just focus on one. Wow. So. I, I read an, uh, a, a little article just kind of like talking about your tennis interests, and that it, I think it was your senior year in high school, you were number one, hadn't lost yet, and Brad Steve, tell us the story. Uh, yeah. I, I'm not going to tell it for you. Tell well, it better. But So, yeah, I had already committed to play basketball at Butler and uh, was undefeated in the season, and the only match that... Uh, Coach Stevens came to was a match that I lost, <laughs> um, and so was I don't know why I lost it too because I was supposed to win the match, but uh, maybe he made me nervous or something. But yeah, I told him you can't come to any more matches, <laughs> no more matches. Did he come to any more? No, he didn't. <laughs> um, by the way, for those of you that don't know Gordon Hayward with the Boston Celtics, um, welcome. Now, do you still play tennis? Uh, I probably haven't played in a couple years. Yeah. Um, well, I know you're coming back from an injury, so yeah. I'm sure the team doesn't want you yeah, playing I'm tennis. They definitely did <laughs> not want me playing, but more than anything, I didn't have anybody to play with. Um, I tried to teach my wife how to play. Um, that didn't go too well. Oh, uh, you've got kids, though. You've but got I do have, I have ones. three little girls, and so I would love more than anything to get them to play tennis and um, it would be fun being able to play with them. Speaking of uh, your little girls potentially playing tennis, there's a lot of very talented young ladies uh, still in contention here at yeah. the U.S. Open. What do you think of a 15-year-old Coco Goff playing her way uh, under the big lights tonight? It's amazing um, to see somebody that young, that mature, be able to handle you know all that that is of being a professional athlete and. Um, wish her nothing but the best. It, she has an exciting match tonight, right? Is that right? Yeah, yeah against, against Naomi, Naomi Osaka. Osaka. Who's also young, too. Yes, yeah, very exactly. young. Uh, 21 years old. Yeah. She's, yeah, the, she's the senior is, one in this, uh, right, the this matchup. Yeah, 21. exactly. Well, you know, what's really interesting, we had Kobe Bryant on um, yesterday, and I think it's fun to have some of the other athletes come out here and, and see tennis in person because I don't think a lot of athletes don't realize how tough it is. And the thing that he mentioned is, man, it's really lonely out there because you don't have teammates. Uh, what's the thing about tennis that really impresses you? I love that about tennis. That was my favorite part was kind of being on an island. You have to figure it out yourself. You, you don't get coached. Um, you know, it's there. And I think tennis is what helped me be, it kind of built some of my mental toughness. Mm. Um, and so I've always said that about tennis. Also, the lateral movement really helped me with basketball. Yep. Um, but, but tennis in general is, it's a sport that you really have to grind and you can be out there for a long time by yourself. and. Um, it's really impressive to me to see these guys do that. A guy that knows how to grind, Nick Kyrgios, and I, we saw, we have um, some footage or a picture of him wearing your jersey. Are you guys friends? Yeah. Like, what's the relationship? So, what's so going yeah, on? Yeah. I, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> of course, I, that Kidding. sounds about. Of course, he's batting <laughs> right, the ball right, look at that. with the butt of the racket. <laughs> um, so when I was injured, um, actually, <laughs> oh, my uh, my PT that I was working with used to work for Tennis Australia. Okay. So that was the connection that we had, and then. A couple years ago, I went to the Miami tournament and met him there, got a chance to interact with him, um, and so found out that he's a massive basketball fan and more than anything, a massive Celtics fan. Oh, wow. And so we've stayed in contact ever since. I think we played Fortnite together a couple times. <laughs> Fortnite, um, that's you know, awesome. He's, he's extremely talented, so I'm going to go watch his match tonight and also see John's match here in a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, we've connected over the years. and. Uh, and he played basketball growing up. That's right. And we talked about that in Miami, too. And he said he was probably better at basketball than tennis early on. Um, so I'm sure he's, he's, he's tall. John is huge. I mean, he's tall. Is he, he could, taller than you? He is. We can find How the spot. How tall are you? Him. Yours what? I'm six, about 6'8". Six, 6'8". Oh, really? Yeah, he's 6'11". Or 6'10". Yeah. Anybody he's, for me, yeah. I mean, and Prim probably feels the same way. Anybody I mean, yeah. over like 6'10", 
three to me is just very tall. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Riley Opelka as well. He, the, he's the, yeah, uh, young six eleven. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, I think tennis is like. The more and more players are getting taller and taller, it seems like. Yeah, that we were talking about that earlier in, in the week. Uh, talking about Nick Kyrgios, um, what, I mean, he, he's obviously a, a very fierce competitor. What, I mean, what do you think uh, about his game maybe would translate on the basketball court? Um, I mean, certainly the competitiveness that he has and that he brings, but more than anything, he plays with so much, uh, like he's, if I envisioned him playing basketball, it would be him doing all kinds of, of cool moves like okay. um, can you wh who's a good comparison um, like somebody like a Kyrie because okay. it seems like yeah. when he plays tennis he's doing like trick shots in the middle of the games not nervous to do them at all and that takes you know that takes some some guts to be able to do that a lot of people can do it in practice but he'll pull them up in the middle of the match so I would picture him having some flash when he's playing basketball for sure. Of course, hitting the ball with the butt of the racket. That's actually a really hard thing to do. Oh, look, there's, there's me right oh, there. Oh. Yeah. Flashback Friday. Well, this is throwback throwback Thursday. I had I had a nice little serve and a nice uh, I've seen forehand. your form. And yeah, what, what, what kind of player were you? Were so, you? so I was 5'11 as a freshman in high school. Oh. So I was a baseliner. Oh I, was just, you... I was pretty athletic. So I just got to everything. And then when when I was a senior, I was six eight, and my high school coach was like, "Dude, you got to go to the net. Like, you got to <laughs> use some of this, you know." So I was all serving volley when I was a senior. When was wow. your growth spurt? It was gradual, like throughout high school. Okay. I mean, I was five eleven as a freshman, and then I think six four, then six seven, then six eight. So I, I think John Isner, um, I think he was still six three when he decided to, you know, give up basketball and, and focus on tennis, and then right. he, of course. But I mean, Shot way up, you but. don't have to give up necessarily a sport. There's all this conversation about too much specialization with one sport too soon. So what are your yeah. thoughts on, you know, there's all that conversation, especially uh, yeah. that leads to injuries. Anytime I talk with kids, I always talk about playing every sport you can for as long as you can. I think it's great. Um, it builds different muscles. You don't get burnt out from, from one sport to the other. Um, and you're, you're interacting with different people too, different mm -hmm. groups of friends. And so I, I've always push people to play multiple sports. Like I said earlier, I think tennis really helped me with my basketball game and um, basketball helped me with tennis too. And, and although I played soccer, baseball, um, just about football, I played everything. And I think oh, wow. I think that's what kids should should do. And it probably also helped you um, develop a different mindset and confidence because you switch from team sports to also individual sports too. Yeah, like I said, you're learning different things when you play different sports. Um, and so you just, it translate really easily. Have you been to the US Open previously? This is my first time here. Really? Time, Me too. So. Everybody's first time. It was Kobe Bryant's first time yeah. too. What, uh, I mean, you probably haven't had too much of a chance to walk around yet, but um, what, what are you most looking Looking forward to? Um, most looking forward to watching the matches. Um, like you guys said, it's so impressive when you watch them up close. They make it look so easy when you watch on TV. Like the ball's not moving that fast, but it really is. Um, but then also kind of just checking out everything that's going on here. We had a tournament in Indianapolis growing up that I would go to every summer, but this is a little bit bigger scale. So <laughs> if, if you don't mind the suggestions, got to go with the honey deuce drink. You know, that's the tournament drink. OK, honey deuce, yeah, a little yeah, vodka, okay. shum, some, 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 uh, some lemonade. Melons, yeah. I like the frozen ones. If you can find frozen the, ones are the stand good. that has the frozen honey deuce, especially on a warm day. Uh, yeah, we got the lobster BLT sandwich. That is lobster really big. BLT. Yeah. Lobster BLT. They don't mess around here at the US. No, the, the food, if, if you're a big food guy, um, lots of choices here. Definitely. Definitely, like, take in all the choices before. Cream, Don't make a snap sandwiches. decision on the food. Okay. Yeah. We'll have to yeah. You're, around are you taking notes? I mean, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think he's getting hungry. He's really I'm starting to map out. He's to starting to map out, wife, map out what he's going to eat. Yeah. Well, you know what? You're going to fit right in because everyone's going to think you're just a tennis player. Yeah. All you got to do yeah. is you could carry. I need a bag. Or yeah, something. I was going to say you could carry. You could be Nick Curios's bag carrier kind of like in golf you could be his that. tennis caddy yeah, yeah I like that, cool. I, do that. <laughs> uh, I like that well we we appreciate you stopping by and uh, we're looking forward to the matches as well yeah I think my seats might be slightly less than yours but are you are you a, a guest of Nick's today or are you just uh, here I don't believe so oh, no. okay. um, I got I, I had the chance to do that in Miami and that was awesome yeah. I sat in his box and we Players were on the, box yeah the, yeah that first row and that was really cool okay you're gonna be doing just fine you're yeah. gonna be, you've <laughs> yeah. got some great seats don't you worry about that <laughs> thanks guys all right, all right. Thank, thank you so, you so much, much for stopping by nice meeting you nice to meet you go have some honey deuces seriously the frozen ones yeah the frozen ones